Thank you to subscribe to Ronnie TV. Local news never seen on television. Shebastian Haller scored the winning goal as Ivory Coast beat Nigeria 2-1 to clinch the Africa Cup of Nations AFC -ON, title. The striker completed a dramatic comeback with a goal in the 81st minute, sending the home crowd into wild celebrations at the Alassane Uatara Stadium. It was an emotional moment for Haller who was diagnosed with cancer back in 2022, just days after signing for German club Borussia Dortmund. After two operations and four rounds of chemotherapy, the 29-year-old completed an extraordinary recovery as he returned to the sport in February 2023, capping it off with a seismic moment, scoring his first competitive goal for Dortmund on World Cancer Day last season. His journey epitomized his country's campaign at this year's AFCON, which started in the worst possible way. After winning its opening group game, Les Elephants then lost the remaining two, including 4-0 defeat to Equatorial Guinea. Ivory Coast appeared to be completing a dreadful tournament and fired its manager Jean-Louis Gasset, thinking that the squad had crashed out at the group stage. However, a miraculous series of results in other matches led to the host nation scraping through to the knockout stages by virtue of being one of the four best third-placed teams. A search for a caretaker manager to guide the team ensued, with Amers Farre eventually emerging as the chosen candidate, his first managerial role at the senior level, after various options had fallen through. It's the power of the group and the mindset that put us through. We had some challenging moments, but we rescued ourselves, although it wasn't easy, Ivory Coast's Adingra said after the game, per Reuters. The mental fortitude saw us restore our chances and do what we achieved today. Drogba was not the only soccer legend in attendance. Former Arsenal manager Arsene Wenger and FIFA president Gianni Infantino also watched as Ivory Coast claimed its third AFCON title. That's it for today. Subscribe to Ronnie TV. Local news never seen on television.